Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So um, it's been some time I've made a video, but over the course, I've got a lot of students have reached out to me, particularly regarding RFEs. I think it's worth that I continue making some of these videos on the RFE issues on the questions that I usually receive. So uh, I'll do a, a series of videos starting today on these. And the videos will all about like one specific question that I would, you know, usually get in an RFE. And I would like to address that. So it's easy for someone who has a very similar RFE to look at this video and, you know, uh, start crafting a response. Okay. So this one that I'm sharing here is I got from uh, someone who received it for STEM OPT. So this is something to consider whether it's for OPT or STEM OPT. This one is for STEM OPT and it has had like a bunch of different, you know, sections in it. But the first one, which is your usually your heading, it say, states that um, they're looking for information related to bona fide employer employee relationship. Now, this is the title and it had like, you know, a lot of sub uh, sections that they requested. Uh, so the sequence is if you are getting something like this, it's very common that you will have all the set of other questions that will be asked. Um, so just reading them out, it usually starts with that. You need to get signed letters from all your employers. Um, and you need to establish your job title, duties, location, pay rate, number of hours work. So what happens is when you start your job on an OPT and you move to STEM OPT, and if you change employers during that course, uh, and if you get this RFE, you need to submit all the details from your previous employers as well. So this is like a bunch of work because if you have like two or three employers, then you need to, you know, talk to them and get all this information. So along with that, you also need to submit your earning statements, which is your pay stubs or your copies of W-2s. And then it's a bunch of other section, uh, which includes you know all your information, like what job you worked on, whether it was remote, whether it was in-person, so you need to provide the location as well. Um, and you know, whom you were reporting to, um, everything related to that is, you know, included. Now, what happens is if you get something like that, the first thing to do is you need to con uh, contact all your employers to get all this information because they will be the ones who will be able to provide you all this information. Um, and just make sure that everything is covered in this. Like uh, students would reach out to me that I don't have one particular section of, you know, what what's being asked for, but that is not, Take your time, try to get in touch with your employer and make sure you have everything that is asked for. So usually in this one, um, how to respond here is you'll have your uh, RFE response where you'll get from your employer uh, all this information that you work for such and such company and everything will be listed out in bullet points about your job title, duties, location, pay rate and the number of hours since in a very simple sequence. Along with that, you'll also attach your original offer letter, which will also have the same information. So it's two types of documents, same documents, but the context is different. One is your offer letter and one is your RFE response letter. So this is how you will you know, create a response when it comes to uh, a bona fide employer-employee relationship and when this is asked for in your RFE. Along with that, you need to understand that your OPT can be unpaid. So what happens is, in this case, I, you know, the student asked me a follow-up question that um, how do I submit pay stubs for my OPT because that was unpaid. So just make sure um, as an understanding point of view, your OPT can be unpaid. You only need to be paid when you start your STEM OPT. So if you don't have pay stubs for your OPT, this is completely fine. You can make a cover letter and uh, cover letter is not something, you know, which is too difficult to make. It's a brief letter stating that, you know, um, here is my response to the RFP and the list of documents are attached. Feel free to reach out. I can send you a sample that I use for my uh, response. But then you can justify or you can just mention in that cover letter that my job with such and such employer was unpaid. Uh, so therefore, I don't have any pay stubs or 
uh, pay slips for that particular job or from that particular employer. So once you have everything set up, um, you just need to, you know, get everything together. And usually um, now everyone has a USCIS online portal where you can submit this response pretty quickly. And the other thing that I was asked for in this response is, you know, how to attach the documents. So usually um, when you are on the portal, um, you'll see a bunch of different categories to a relevant uh, um, document you are uploading. So for example, if you're making a cover letter, that's usually an other supporting document, which is the category you will pick. The document that you receive from USCIS usually goes in USCIS correspondence and your response is RFE response. So you just, you know, upload the document, select the category, and that's all. And then you just submit your documents. Usually another question that comes in is if there is anything you need to take on the last page. So unless you are adding that specific document, which is asked for, you don't need to upload or, you know, you don't need to select anything. So that's how for this one, which is employer employee relationship. If you're asked this, just go by the sequence, just make sure these documents, um, you are attaching them. Um, and you are covering all the information that is asked for. So just as an example, the student reached out to me end of July, last end of July. They submitted their response mid-August and within four days, they got an approval. So, you know, this is the sequence they followed. And I hope this video is helpful for this particular topic, which is employer-employee relationship. And I'll continue to make more covering one specific topic. So it's helpful for all, you know, who get the set of RFPs moving forward. So um, this was all for this one. Uh, feel free to re reach out if you have any questions related to RFPs. Um, happy to help. Also check out my other video on H1B stamping. If you're looking to get stamping done, um, that video, video is really helpful. Do check that out. Um, again, like do feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that I can assist with. Thank you.